Morning, we are stay on top of developments out of Chapel Hill, where a deadly shooting rocked the campus on just the sixth day of the new semester. We brought you live team coverage throughout the day as this all unfolded. And this morning, Chief Investigative Reporter Nick Oxner is live at the campus with more on the investigation that is now underway. Nick, the campus very quiet at this hour. Yeah, things here at the Cottle Labs building, right in the heart of campus here at UNC Chapel Hill. Very quiet this morning, expected to remain so throughout the day. Classes were canceled for the remainder of yesterday afternoon. They remain canceled throughout today as well. But let's take a look at video from last night. We know things were very busy, very active here at the Caudill Labs building. Late into the evening yesterday, we saw the FBI evidence response team on scene here. Well into the evening yesterday, we saw local law enforcement, police canine dogs canvassing the Caudill Labs building. Of course, all that after calls for shots fired here at this building just after one o'clock in the afternoon. You flash forward about a uh, less than two hours, about an hour and a half, and we have this scene with police uh, taking a man into custody, a man that was identified as a person of interest. We still don't have his name, but we do have his picture. Police, before they took him into custody, released this mugshot saying this was the person of interest they were looking for prior to taking someone into custody. Again, that name not released. Charges still not filed. Here's what the campus police chief here at UNC Chapel Hill had to say at a press conference yesterday. We really do want to know the why in, in this case and what led to it. Um, I'm sorry because I know so many of you are feeling uh, uncertain about your safety right now. And uh, again, uh, we have very good protocols in, in place. Uh, there's nothing more important uh, on our campus uh, than the, the safety and well-being of our community members. And that second person you just heard from UNC Chapel Hill, Chancellor Kevin Guskowitz. So again, we know this morning classes are canceled. What we don't know yet is the identity of that man taken into custody. He's not been charged yet. Yesterday, the police chief said that gives them more flexibility as their investigation continued. We're going to be honoring here, though, at the courthouse in Orange County, waiting on those charges. We'll bring you the latest as soon as anything else develops. For now, reporting live at Chapel Hill, Nick Oxner, WBTV, on your side.